guess that was a smaller one. And all he had was a flashlight and no clue on how to get back. That's it. That's the big boy over there. Krammer Noordplaat. So I have to look out for sail ships on the right. And fucking uh, freight ships on the left. Wow. Damn, it's fucking huge. 200 meters in diameter it looks m absolutely massive wow god man I was worried that there are not gonna be any trees to put the hangmat contraption on but look at those fucking trees there. Super tall. Oh man, it looks so pretty. Some kind of suitcase. Should be some kind of embarking area somewhere here. With less rocks, I hope. But they are everywhere underneath. I can feel it grind against the against the coroplast. Against the special plastic. Wow. Ah, fuck. like a closed off area, look. Oh, I guess that was a smaller one. So this one, let's see, this one's the smaller one. This is the big one to the left. 
Yep, and then you have a, to the front there one more. So it's three islands. Wow, this area. Can't believe this is in the Netherlands. Look at that. Completely closed off from the rest. Wow. For a better perspective, that's the small island. This is the big one. And behind this one is another small one. And this is me standing in ice cold water, but it's super shallow here. Anyway, behind this one, I just had to walk because it's just way too shallow to paddle. But it's like a mini beach here. Look at those waves. Super tiny. Uh, yeah, behind the, the big islands, you can see it's like massive traffic. Let me zoom in a bit. Traffic everywhere. Freight ships, cruise ships, sailboats. And my plan was to go around this corner. But it's super duper loud. Let's see if the boat's still there. Yeah. Like so much humming and so much noise. Crazy. Oh. God damn. That's cold. Whew. Finally on land somehow. Some kind of birds living here. Oh. Let's check it out. The boat safe. Mm. Okay, back to exploring. Yeah, that was cold water. Interesting. It's pretty ugly here. Yeah, I have to make a fire as soon as possible because my shoes are completely wet. Damn shame. I don't know what went wrong, but I fucked that one up. Whoa, look at those twice the size of a normal egg. Probably some kind of big birdie, maybe. It's okay island, it has a lot of these long I don't know, plants, vines, a lot of those here, doesn't look like they're big animals here, they have to swim to get over here so yeah, I get it. Oh, this is a nice area, very open, 
Definitely like these trees though. Super nice. Nice texture. Oh no. This is the north side, so north side. That's a big island. Fuck. Yeah, you would think 200 meters is not a lot. But as you can see, it's quite a walk. This is the biggest island I've been on in Kramer, around Oude Tonge. It's pretty sketchy to battle here also. If I can find an opening here, I can show you the northern, the northern island, the one we saw at first. The quiet one. That's the one. Looks very peaceful there though. Bought a new knife. It's an uh, Opino number eight. Kind of cheap, 18 euros. Uh, cheaper than the Victorinox Swiss knife. But the blade is longer, so I kind of like that. And it has this cool lock mechanism. It's turning. Pretty nice. Yeah, pretty sharp blade. So I left and decided to come back to this one. It's just way more peaceful. So, left the bigger uh, island, dropped my phone in the water and decided to come here yeah let's check this one out it's much greener than the other one less noise but also less trees i mean trees i can actually use for the hammock Yeah, kind of nice here. I don't know, it has this uh, this peaceful atmosphere around it. And these are sturdy enough. So I need four. One, two, three, four trees. Yep, perfect. I'm gonna just explore a bit further. Maybe there's gonna be an even better spot. <coughs> Over here. It looks like Framboza. I'll translate that when I get home. Okay, never mind that previous spot. I like this area way more has like this 360 degree 
water around you super nice and just a billion trees oh that's a dead bird hmm. god this bird got got sacrificed oh holy fuck apparently a lot of birds die here Oh yeah, sunset. Nice. Oh. Wow. This is a cool spot. Oh yeah. That's pretty cool. And this is the other view. Also pretty cool. <laughs> ah, look at that ship. Just keeps going and going. So I finally dragged the boat here. Oh, I can fucking rest now a bit.
the cabin. A hiker decided to go on a hike by himself. Something he was not very used to. The whole day was normal. Trees and bushes engulfed his surroundings. He enjoyed being outdoors in the mountains. Nothing seemed strange to him. That was until he was making his way back to his car. He figured an 8 hour hike was good enough. The sky was already getting dark and he needed to get back fast. What was odd was how much he didn't recognize the trail back. He began to panic. Night had already taken over and all he had was a flashlight and no clue on how to get back. He knew it was already too late and too dangerous to keep going through the perilous forest. He began to worry that he would not have shelter for the night when almost luckily enough he stumbled across a broken down cabin. It was dark and seemed like no one had visited it in years. But he knew it was the only place where he could rest until daylight, especially since his flashlight was running out of battery. He knocked on the door a few times, but no one answered. So he let himself in, where strangely enough, a perfect bed fitted for one person awaited him in the center. He knew that if the owner came back, he could explain himself. He was sure that the owner would not mind or maybe he was even dead so he went ahead and got himself comfortable in bed as he tried to sleep he could not ignore the collection of paintings around the room portraits of strange looking people all peering at him each wearing a smile that sent chills up his spine not too long after his exhaustion from the hike got the best of him and he was able to ignore the faces. The next morning he got up early and was shocked to see that there were no paintings around the room but windows. It is... 3 degrees Celsius right, right now and it's gonna go down to 2 and at 5 1 and then it's gonna be 0 at 6 and 7 o'clock and then the sun is gonna come up but I'll tell you what, it's super warm in here, in this open hammock, because that's the moon. And the biggest difference this time is me buying a space blanket, which is this tin foil blanket. I got one from Action. Which is disposable, that's a shame, but there are versions that you can use longer. But this thing is just amazing. It covers you, it works by reflecting heat back from your body. Yeah, you can use it in different ways. Right now I covered my shoulders and my head area. The rest is in the sleeping bag. But you can use it in front of a fire to reflect the heat back from the fire to your body. Oh, it's just amazing. Anyway, I think I slept for four hours, three or four hours. <clears throat> and then I had to get up to pee. That's the annoying part. Anyway, back to sleep.
So, a bit chilly today. Anyway, today's campsite. Two liter water bottles. Those handy packs. Hang mat. A bit of a fire going. And such a cool view. Where my boat is. Nice. Ah. Oh. Super nice. 